anymore. I can't 75 minutes at Imola, a lights out and away we go. Good start for us here in the Ferrari GT. Being immediately Whoa. blocked off by Ada Erkan man. as we are going down that to turn one. That was a change. late move with just a minimum of overlap. As we're trying to go around the outside for the lead, had to quickly back out of it and we are moving back into position two 75 minutes nothing to win only to lose in turn one into lap two we jump and you see Ada Akan had a little bit of a gap already as we're approaching Varianta Alta where Ada is locking up and has to skip the second apex of the Varianta Alta that enables us to get closer yeah, as we are running down towards Rivazza 1 straight into Could the slipstream a late breaking maneuver for us into Rivazza 1 would get us on his rear end and we're locking the front right what? aggressive on the braking really maximizing everything we could ah, but a hot run front right had to make us back out of it anyway it was two laps later when we eventually line. got the chance on the outside line down towards turn one heavy and late on the brakes with half a car length ahead but Ada Aircon just lets the car roll into turn one onto the apex first then the car run wide and we had to back out of it once again just one lap later, drama for us as we are losing the car into Rivasa 1, over braking on the rear, locking the rear inside tire and making the car go round and that drops us down from P2 into P8 straight into the slipstream. We have to regain the momentum, really have to stupid. regain that position on Luis Gaspar well, while we guys, are so unhappy with ourselves. Them, We're going on the inside lane for turn 1. Can we make the move stick? A heavy sense. dive bomb about to come, laid on the brakes, locking up a little bit, but eventually getting the move done, at least sitting in seventh position. A few laps later then, we were a little bit on the economy run, trying to stick to our earlier strategy, and uh, this is one of the examples why you should never block faster class traffic as it just intimidates you it makes you take in different lines it makes you lose in time eventually makes you lose in the momentum as we have an easy pass before Varianta Alta here for sixth place yeah, race wasn't done points. though yet as we were gonna come. chasing down Talik Jan Talik ahead in the Ferrari Jenkish our YouTube member, our YouTube sponsor, right side by side with us here as we have a small look into turn 7 up the hill. Nothing really we can do. The Ferrari being really good in the straight line speed. As you can see, we're in the draft. We're hardly even able to follow. We have to commit for another heavy dive bomb, locking up the front left yeah, severely this time. Sorry about that. And we're running wide, Jenkins, we're running wide ourselves. And uh, I think he had to give up for the timer, so I didn't want to capitalize on that because that would have just been an unfair advantage from my POV. However, that battle was not done. We had to think about something. We had to do something. It was about uh, turn 6, 7, 8 where we had a bit better runs no, than Jenkins because I think he was running right on lower right downforce, right hence still running away from us while sitting in the draft. But it was this turn 7 specifically where he missed again the apex a second time in a row and this time we went to the outside lane side by side on the outside into aqua minerale can we do it laid on the brakes on the outside curb a little bit of a wiggle but eventually we're getting the move done with having the Thank better you, momentum out we'll of the chicane and uh, yeah kudos to jenkish Box for leaving the sporting room however it was uh, interesting Seven things meters. happening as Ada Erkan, the race leader Erkan, only yeah halfway what that can into be. the race um comes in with a pit stop bamboozling me and yane because that was a kind of strategy call no one of us has really expected at this stage maybe that's why he defended that aggressively in the beginning maybe just half the fuel tank so, and we ran wide on the exit of turn 3 for the multiple, multiple time already. Anyway, with just 11 minutes to go or 12 minutes to go, we were coming for our splash, taking a couple of liters of fuel for a 7 or 8 lap sprint, coming back onto the track again, right behind P5. 
uh, before Jules Neal. And guys, story of this race have yep, been mistakes, just... mistakes, and more mistakes. Another time we run wide here into awesome. the first chicane. Um, then we saw Jules Neal uh, spinning the car Jules. around in our criminale. Given is the freebie, just being lucky here as we continue to make mistakes. Running wide at the exit of turn four. Goes wrong Running wide at the exit of turn four. Before. And can you guess it? Yes, exactly. Lifting to not you run wide on the exit of turn four. Uh, Simon, and is, guys, that is, a, is a big disappointment after all. P4 drama. Um, with a roughly 15 uh -huh. second gap to the lead. Um, so if we didn't do this to, mistakes, if we haven't been so um, clumsy all around, we could have had a good there. shot at like the win. Can't, but you can't win them all. You can't. That's fine. Be that first and best going. every time you're out there. Yeah. Sometimes you're just gonna have to live with a little bit of a bad it was a race, but um, actually, that's why we're here. Some little bit of fun for you, some little bit of entertainment. Guys, if you've appreciated to, this, to please make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and enjoy more Lamar Ultimate content.